How's it going guys? So the Division beta recently finished and of course I said I wanted to have a talk to you guys about my thoughts about the Division beta. Now a few of you guys have been asking what I thought and there's a few things I'd like to cover. Um, but this was, uh, overall, I really did enjoy. I thought it was really cool, a really interesting take. Uh, but there of course are a few things I like, a few things I dislike, so let's go and have a look. So the first thing is the layout of the game. Now usually with video games, I hate having loads of things on the screen. Loads of, you know, you've got ammo, you've got a map, you've got a radar, you've got waypoints, you've got names, you've got things. There is so much happening on the screen during the division. Um, but after a little while, I actually got used to it and actually found it really cool. It was actually really fun. I was surprised how much it wasn't frustrating me. It was really cool. It was really easy to see. Uh, I love the use of the waypoints and the lines and things. I like the uh, the artistic style of how you have to be looking at the writing for the front, as in it sort of presents a 3D floating text there. Uh, it was really cool, really something I found really intuitive. The game itself, the graphics, the map was absolutely gorgeous. The weather system was amazing. The day-night system was gorgeous. Uh, the Christmas lights around New York was amazing. Uh, it was really, really cool. The only problem I have with the map would have to be probably something to do with the Dark Zone. And this is not really to do with the map itself, but more so something I'm going to have to wait and see if it happens on the out uh, once the full game comes out. So here's what I'm talking about. I'm thinking once the game comes out, uh, that it looks like there's going to be a good chance of um, people in the Dark Zone. So for those of you who haven't played it, the Dark Zone is basically pl player versus player. It's PvP area. It's just a big open map. Uh, the idea being part of the story is, is that area has been contaminated with a massive disease. Originally, I thought that was a zombie. It was going to be a zombie apocalypse thing, but uh, no, no, it's just a disease. So you go in there, PvP. However, anything you unlock has to be extracted by helicopters, which makes it a bigger pain in the butt. There's a totally new ranking up system. It's actually really cool. It's a really uh, interesting take. I never thought that they could do something like that. Uh, there's no loading screens or anything passing into the dark zone. You don't have to go through menus. You just simply walk through the gate, and you're on the other side of New York in PvP. That was really, really cool. I was actually really interested. I, it took me a little while to understand how it all worked, but it's uh, it's really cool. The thing I don't, I, the thing I think may end up happening is people may end up just sitting around the edge of the dark zone, if you know what I mean, just towards those gates, which sort of makes sense because they don't want to run off in the map. They just want to get straight in the action. If you're going into the dark zone, you're just going to be going to, you know, you're going to go to extraction points. You're going to take out as many people as you can. Um, I don't think a lot of people are going to be spreading out amongst that whole map. Because there's no point. Too many people are going to be sat there around the extraction points and around the, uh, you know, the area right next to the gates. So, does that mean that the rest of the map is going to become, you know, pointless? And so you've got a huge area of New York and a huge area of the map that just you just won't even bother exploring. And there doesn't seem there wasn't in the beta. There wasn't really anything there that made it worth exploring. So I think I would like to see some missions, maybe some uh, little side quests and things like that in the dark zone, sort of like you see uh, in the normal map. So just a few missions, maybe a few ill civilians or something like that. Maybe you know, just some small mini games and stuff you can do that uh, venture out further and further in the map. Maybe the further you venture into the dark zone, the better the loot you gain. Something along those lines would be really, really cool. I think that would make it a lot more intuitive. Now, what about the pause menu? Now, there's, the pause menu is actually a big part of this game in the sense that that is where all your upgrading is going to happen. It's where your groups are going to happen. Groups go up to, I think, four, I believe. Uh, and they are, it is really fun. Playing with friends in this game is absolutely amazing. It's it's in, it's a load of fun. It's really, it can be really frustrating in a, in a really good way. I think not sort of, you know, you're dying over and over again. More so, you, you, go, you guys can be venturing into the dark zone. One thing I was doing, I was playing with E and JJ. We were running around the dark zone. Uh, we all agreed that we would not shoot anyone. We would not go rogue. Uh, and so I just started taking people out and they got really annoyed. It was really it was really cool. It was really fun. I think it's, it, it makes the game really interesting and awesome. Being able to do all the missions with, uh, with your friends and stuff makes it really cool. Uh, and the system to group up with friends was easy peasy. Easy peasy. Uh, growing into group management, uh, having a squad leader, and just, you know, just attaching people to your squad was cinch. And I actually met a few people online and things like that. It was awesome. I absolutely love the multiplayer aspects of this game. It's really cool. Uh, the map, yeah, like I say, the map is the only thing. I'd like to see the more intuitive map. I reckon that could double its experience and make this a must-buy game. Um, hopefully they do something like that, or hopefully something like that implements that I just don't know about yet. That would be really cool. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something like that. Uh, but the other thing was the uh, weapon upgrades, which was also really cool. Uh, basically how it works is once you take enemies down and things like that, a green light's going to come up from their corpse and you can go and collect loot. This loot can be, you know, weapons, it can be extended magazines, it can be scopes, it can be barrels and things like that. 
Uh, and attaching these to your weapons was really cool. It took me a minute to uh, to get used to in the sense that it's sort of one of those menus where you're going into something else, into something else, into something else, and then you're finally at the weapon upgrade. You pick a weapon upgrade, and then to get back to the game, you got to go circle, 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 just to get right back to the start. So at first, it can be a little daunting, but once you get the hang of it, uh, it's it's a cinch and it's an absolute breeze. So uh, it was uh, it's really cool, uh, and it's it's I was quite surprised. One of the biggest things with this game was the amount of things that is happening on the screen at all times, and yet I was never too confused, I was never too frightened. At first it was sort of a little, you know, a little weird when you're first stepping into the game, but I, I never lost track of what things were, and uh, I don't know, the colour, this must be something to do with the colour coding system that they have with the writing and the text, is all of it comes together to create awesome missions, but yet, like I say, the missions are really cool, the boss was awesome. Uh, some of the, the free roam is absolutely cool. The environment is amazing. The map is really cool. Hopefully they can just make some fixes to the dark zone and stuff like that. Make that a bit more intuitive and a bit more... Uh, make me want to explore it a bit more because I ended up just sitting around the fence and that's what everyone was doing. Just sitting along the fence in the dark zone, not really going anywhere and just trying to stay alive for as long as you could, staying around one or two extraction points, which is, you know, I'd like to see that a bit more intuitive. Apart from that though, this game's absolutely amazing. If I have the money, I am certainly going to be buying it. I would suggest you guys do too. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks really cool and a great add to your collection so far. Well done from the Division beta. Well done with the beta. So far, so good. Hopefully they can keep this up into launch. Uh, if so, eventually, I will most definitely be purchasing it. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much. Be sure to like the Facebook page. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe. All that jazz. Links in the description below. But for now, I'll catch you later. TK out. Have a good one.